A recalibrate team, guys here. It is the eve before the push-up challenge. I know you're excited. I know some of you may have think that I've conscripted, tricked you, whatever, but I'm glad you're here and uh, I'm glad you're taking part in it. So today we're doing four push-up variations. Two you must know and two you should do. And I'll explain why in a second. So the first variation we're gonna do it has the, less, uh, the least amount of load on it, and that is the wall push-up. Now, I don't actually have a clear wall, uh, so I'm going to use my rack here to kind of demonstrate the point. But with a wall push-up, you're, you're looking at having your hands about shoulder height, okay? And you don't have to stand out very far from the wall. Now, the only difference really between this and the wall is obviously there is no wall here. But when you're going down, you're just looking to touch your nose to the wall. This one's nice and light. Um, and it can is suitable for pretty much all levels. So if you get wrist pain or elbow pain and you're a bit worried about it, wall push-ups are a good place to start, um, especially taking on the challenge yourself. I'm then going to use this rack to just kind of replicate like a, a desk push-up or a bench push-up. So the lower the object is, the more resistance you have. And this is a variation that you should do, one of the two variations you should do. And the reason being, is because when you're doing these variations and touching your chest to the wall, I can get my camera crew to just seamlessly wander across. If you're going to these variations and touching your chest to the object, and the lower it is, the more resistance you have. The benefit of this is that if you tend to be have less than ideal posture, be a bit, bit tight through the upper chest, shoulders, neck, and jaw. This is actually loading you a little bit lower on the chest at the underside. So it's actually a lot more mm, user-friendly for your shoulders, right? And that's why it's one of the variations you should do. And this is the same for the second variation, or the third variation that you should do. So now we're at desk level. And we can even move down to a chair level, so just above the ground. Okay. The next variation that you should do for a similar reason, if you can't do the bench or chair push-ups, is the push-ups on your knees. Now, I'm going to film a, a technique-specific video on day one on the push-up challenge. But to help you get started, knees together, and when you're lowering yourself down, you're actually, your head actually goes forward, right? It doesn't go straight down. And if you keep that in mind, you'll stop this kind of variation, right? So these are the two variations you should do. Again, a bit easier on the shoulders and um, better if you have postural problems. The last one, standard plain old vanilla push-up. Okay. Hands at 45 degrees, dropping your chest to the ground. I'll film a technique video for you tomorrow, but uh, excited that you're part of the challenge. Make sure you do those variations, change it up. We've got 24 days ahead of us and uh, it's awesome to have you on board. Thank you. See you later.